Hello, the whole freaking world, and Star Wars The Force Awakens still All right, guys, let's unbox this thing. Hi, everybody, there it is, the Star Wars The Force Awakens Episode 7. I've been looking forward to this day where I can take it home and watch it over and over again because it was awesome. So I went to Best Buy just now to pick it up, and uh, surprisingly, there was still a lot of stock, so I wasn't, I wasn't tripping, really. But I pre-order it anyway. So this is it, Steelbook with the Kylo Ren cover. So in the back, we kind of—it's kind of similar to the uh, one through six one. If you've seen my review before, it has that initial cover. But then if I take it off, you'll see something else. So first, I'm gonna unwrap this, okay? All right. Yep, I was right. See, this comes off, just like the other Star Wars that I have from one through six. It's just like a little cover. It says a little bit of plot. It says blah blah blah. Story awakens. Blah blah. blah. Oh, you got a lot of bonus features actually. Awesome. Huh. Spoiler alert for you who haven't seen it. Just kidding. All right, let's see what's in the back. Captain Phasma! Although I do really wish that it was the original cover, like the original poster to be on the back because that's how the other ones are. But that's okay because I still dig it. I mean, wow. It feels just like the other ones. The Star Wars uh, logo are indented. I mean, not indented. It's not freaking essay. It's dented. There you go. See if you can, you can feel it. All right, and this is the spine or the core, some people would call it. Sorry, it's getting shaky. I have a small tripod, can't find the big one. See? All right, if I turn it around, it's Captain Phasma. Now, let's open it. Whoa, okay. There are three discs, as I was promised. Let's see what this is. Star Wars Wars Wigan. Oh, it's the code, it's the code, it's the code. Well. I don't care if you actually saw this because by the time I post this video, I probably already redeemed it. So, ha! Freeloaders, don't even think about it. All right, so over here we have the DVD. All right, and this is the Blu ray disc with the picture of the Millennium Falcon. And in the back, oh, I can't flip it, so you get it. Take it off gently. Ah, what is this? Oh, that's bonus features. Wow, I like that. The fact that it's like, yeah, their first. What do you call that in film? It's like a first screen test, not screen test, like first sight reading, something like that for music. But it's for the lines. It's the first time they met the cast, whenever. That's very interesting. And let's take out all this. Let's see what the picture behind it actually is. Mm. Ah, is the Millennium Falcon from the trailer? Well, from the movie too, <laughs> obviously. But yeah. Wow, I feel like it's a lot more shinier than the. Uh, one through six, and you can see the Star Wars indented, dented logo on the very bottom there. So I got this for $27.99. It was supposed to be $29.99, but I guess it was opening day and on sale, I guess, a little bit, so people buy it, and though it's still expensive. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. So you, you have to put it over. Okay, be careful with the Blu-ray because that's what I'm gonna use the most. Well, at least I got a digital copy. It's determined. You can check out in the comment below if the digital copy works. I'm sure. I mean, I don't see why not. Unless, yeah, I would get a refund definitely because that's some bullshit. Oh, and it works with iTunes. If you're wondering, if you're one of those Flickster iTunes kind of guy, like me sometimes. There you go. Digital HD on iTunes. And that's that's it, guys. Wow. I'm actually really satisfied with this. Now I'm going to put it with the other so that he can join the Star Wars Steelbook family in my little... Tupperware of movies. All right, well, that's the Star Wars The Force Awakens Steelbook. So if, so if you guys bought it, let me know what you think about it. If it's worth the $27.99, I think it's worth it because the movie was great. If not, then yeah, I would wait for Black Friday or something. But just because I have the other ones on Steelbooks, I don't want to break the streak. And yeah, guys, that's it. And uh, make sure you check out my other videos. I get some other unboxing videos or the other funny videos. And for now, I guess that's it. Take care now. Bye-bye then.